Hi there, my name is Anka Plasen Trifan and I was leading the production team. And I want to start by giving a big shout out to my amazing team because none of this would have come together without them. We had Peter and Michelle working hard on the VCS platform customization. Michelle built it from scratch and Peter was on the back end, hard coding all of the changes that Michelle was asking for, which was no small lit. And then Michelle also handled the Snapsite integration. Jennifer trained and integrated chat base so the bot could respond with contacts to the user's inquiry. And then Peter kept our run of shows and agendas updated and sharp. And then Elise jumped in and she followed my instructions step by step to create the Slack app, which I then controlled through Cloud Code, GitHub, and Heroku. And what makes me the proudest is that everyone on this team pulled their weight. They learned brand new skills and embraced the challenge. And this is the best team I could wish for. On my side, I was working on producing this live stream, building all the links, creating the graphics. And then most of my time really was spent on the AI production assistant itself. Because when I first imagined this bot, my goal was quite a bit ambitious. I'm like, I wanted a production co-pilot that could eventually run a full queue to queue of the entire show, triggering queues, overlays, and reminders automatically. Now, that was the dream, and I'll admit, I ran out of time to vibe code that piece. But what I did build was still a powerful working assistant. Instead of just being a cool demo, it turned into a Slack-based project management system. You can type in with natural language, and it would break that into structured tasks with due dates and priorities tied to our hackathon timeline. It then ran a gap analysis, flagged risk, tracked the critical path, and sent proactive reminders. And then it synced into a real-time dashboard where we could see task completion percentages, overdue items, and a live countdown to event date. Now, the process wasn't smooth. I fought through multiple rebuilds, NPM errors, Slack webhook issues, and even ngrok headaches. At one point, the bot flagged my own laptop with a 99% REM alert, which was both terrifying and oddly satisfying, proof that it was actually working. Now, from a user standpoint, the team could stay in Slack, in the workflow, and then manage their task without having to switch a bunch of tools. So in the end, this grew into over 3,500 lines of code, 40 commits, 40 Heroku deployments, a real system, not just a prototype. And I would say the fact that everyone embraced it, it was a really good win and I am very proud of that. For a longer explanation of how I built this bot from beginning to end, check out the playlist on my YouTube channel, which goes step by step through the entire process, through the highs, through the lows, as well as some of the wins and the losses. And I will make sure to add the link to the playlist in the notes. Thank you.